Hi, everybody. So, in this video, we are continuing to both uh, clean and I believe also do a little fluting and deburring, etc., of all of the ribs for the horizontal stabilizer. Now, one of the uh, tools that you one of my newest tools, I guess you could say, that you see me working with right here is a nice handheld Dremel tool. There's one thing about these horizontal ribs that is kind of a pain. Half of these ribs are completely normal looking, nice flat flanges along the sides, no weird breaks, and uh, relatively easy to clean. The other half, the inner ribs, the ones that have the stringer that go in between the two, have all kinds of extra flanges for the stringer on both sides, uh, thus making it a giant mess. Now here you can see me fluting the nose ribs. Uh, in our last video we talked about having to flute these nose ribs, so the thing with the nose ribs is that they, the instructions say, okay, flute so that the la, uh, uh, sorry, that the pre-punched holes in the flanges all line up. Well, you, you don't actually have to flute anything f to get them to line up. The pieces are very small and you can actually very gently bend these nose ribs and these holes will line up. However, it's not the same as uh, fluting them and having the holes line up. Uh, when you flute the flanges on the sides and the holes all line up, uh, you can see that the nose rib kind of gets a slight bend rig down. Anyway, the flanges themselves are pretty big, uh, but you might just have one pre-drilled hole and then open flange on one side. And normally you flange, or, or sorry, you flute things that everything's very symmetrical. You, you know, it's usually uh, spaces in between pre-drilled holes, not just a space next to a hole with nothing on either side. So it takes a little getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, you realize you're doing the right thing. So yeah, the Dremel tool uh, actually works really well. What I bought was a uh, small chainsaw uh, blade sharpening stones. They're basically long, skinny slots uh, you use uh, primarily for, obviously, sharpening chainsaws. However, that it also works perfectly in between uh, flanges when you want to get a little cleaning done in between the two different flanges uh, and don't want to sit with a file and deburring tool. It's not easy to get in there. But the Dremel tool really makes uh, quick work of it. So yeah, I've been gone for a bit. I took a, a week vacation and then the day I get home from my vacation, uh, I get sick. I'm pretty sure it was some kind of walking pneumonia. It was bad. Fever every day. Couldn't breathe. Coughing up all kinds of wonderfully colored things. I was just able to get out to the hangar yesterday for the first time in two weeks. All I can say is thank God for Metamu uh, Metamucil. <laughs> thank God for Mucinex. Once I'm done deburring all of these pieces, I uh, believe the next step is I will be cleaning, then priming them uh, in anticipation for assembly.
Okay, I've got this squeezer out. Oh, yeah. Now, <coughs> speaking of mistakes, here you can see me dimpling all of these ribs. Something I should have waited and done after I primed. In the next video, you sh I think we'll be able to see uh, the effect of what happens when you do that, which is uh, destroyed abrasive pans. Anyway, I'm going to let this one trail on out. Looks like I'm just dimpling. Uh, thank God for the squeezer, and I'll see you soon.